All right, I'm here with my test patient, Jello McJellerson. I'm going to be testing out the Cadwell 32 channel EEG amplifier and associated equipment that goes with it. And the uh, hypothesis is that the waves that come out of the Jello will not, in fact, look like EEG waves. Uh, just so that we are all very clear on exactly what product this is, this is Jello strawberry gelatin snacks. I bought them at HEB. Uh, there you can see the lid. Have them all pushed together so that uh, I can make sure I get all my leads in them and they should all come in contact with each other. Um, so any electrical signal should go through each of them. So uh, I'll keep recording after we get everything plugged in. All right, so continuing on our video here, you can see I've got all the wires in their jumbled mess. But if you look closely into the Jello, you will see that there are no two leads touching each other inside the Jello. It looks good. I didn't end up needing the fourth one. Uh, you can also see that all the gelatin is well connected to each other, so any electrical activity can be transferred there. And uh, now I'm going to start up the computer and we'll take a look at what the, uh, what the signals look like. Okay, continuing on our test, you can see what my impedance checks look like. They all come in at under 5,000 ohms, which is outstanding. Um, actually, most of them are less than 2,000 ohms, which is better than we can get on a human brain. Um, in most cases, you have to scrub pretty hard to get better than that on a human brain. Um, so if we go down here to cancel, or to OK rather, and we look at these EEG recordings, what do we have but just a bunch of garbled mess? Which is exactly what we'd expect since there's no inherent electrical activity in Jello Gelatin. Um, if you're curious what my settings are at, I've got my high frequency filter at 35 hertz and my low frequency filter at 0.53 hertz. Uh, that should rule out that I'm filtering out anything except um, 60 hertz artifact, basically. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's what a EEG on Jello brand gelatin looks like. If you want to see, let's see, I'll, I'll jiggle it and see if we can get any different response. And you can see what happens when I jiggle it. And jiggle the jello. I'll do it again so you can see it real time. Here it goes one, two, three. Of course, me touching is going to transfer my personal electrical signal onto there, but uh, that'll send it crazy. But that's it. That's what uh, Jello Gelatin produces on an EEG. So disproving the myth that uh, an EEG on Jello will produce the same type of signals as an EEG on a human.